op-ed columnist from New York Times. Give it up for Gail Collins. She is the lighthouse for journalism, women, and the American public. In this day and age, people are bombarded with news on social media on their screens. The old-fashioned critical thinking newspapers do not attract readers anymore. However, short news are often biased and inaccurate. Gail Collins lights the way of modern journalism by bringing back readers with her humor. Gail Collins was born in 1945 in Cincinnati, Ohio. She went to Marquette University in Milwaukee, Wisconsin, where she studied journalism, where I am accepted to as well. She went to UMass Amherst for political science. She never seems didactic, as she enlightens her readers like a lighthouse of what is going on in the messy, confusing, and somehow shady American politics, with plain data, analogy. Humor, metaphors, and her sophisticated、uh, use of language. In 2001, Collins was appointed editorial page editor, the first woman to hold that position at the New York Times. She is like a lighthouse for women in the dark, somehow sexist professional world, giving guidance and inspiration. Stone Cold data are her major way to persuade audience. She quotes from a politician first before describing what the reality is, so the readers can see for themselves how ridiculous the situation is. In her article "Wanted Straight Shooters," she talks about gun control policies in the United States. She quotes from Bill Bratton,、uh, the police commissioner, that an average police officer with high training strikes something once or twice every ten rounds of bullets. An incident where. An armed civilian almost hurt innocent people when attempted to stop a mass shooter with a gun. So Collins demonstrates to the readers that guns are not a good idea to stop crimes, because they're not easy to handle even for professional police officers, let alone this guy. She disqualifies Republican and NRA arguments that the American people need need guns for their own safety, with just quotes on the record by officials and double check facts on an event. Protects readers from bias or false information, like lighthouses, guidebooks from、uh, the bad currents. Besides her competence as a journalist, Gail Collins draws attention with her humor, analogies, and metaphors. She compares the competition for votes between Clinton and Sanders to a fistfight in the catchy title of her article for New York Times: "Hillary and Bernie Punching." She does not forget to mention how nobody is keeping track of Martin O'Malley's campaign. So just to make fun of the government a little bit, article coming to terms with Donald. She compares going back in time and telling her coworkers in 1990s that Donald Trump is leading the polls. This guy. To telling Van Gaal, who was never famous when he was alive, that how much his works are being sold for, literally millions of dollars. And to the infamous racist governor George Wallace that he will never. Uh, gets to be the president, but a black guy, Barack Obama does. She makes this analogy to highlight how surprising things in American politics can be. After all, guys says stuff like this can lead the polls in the presidential、um, campaign. Gail Collins is extremely skilled at sophisticated usage of language without sounding didactic. Oftentimes, the titles of her articles are already interesting. Her article, and now the Marco memo, for example, and now shows the repetitiveness on how weird things happen in American politics. The Marco memo makes the candidate Marco Rubio sounds like a branded, programmed robot, which is hilarious and satirical because Marco Rubio always repeats the same words and the same composure. She's our lighthouse, our major key.